Doctor, I know you, cancer is a big thing at, at your hospital, but it's not the only thing that you see and treat. What are some of the other conditions that you've had a lot of success with? Well, the, the other things that we treat are really derive from what's happening to us as, as, as a species, as, as humans. Uh, I teach at the University of Baja Medical School, and I always tell the students, you know what, the diseases that you're going to see in your time are going to be different than what I saw, mm -hmm. let's say, 25, 50 <coughs> years ago. You're going to see a lot of different things. Why? Because we're looking at high blood pressure, heart disease, strokes, diabetes, uh, MS, uh, and uh, all these conditions. Uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, which is becoming more and more mm -hmm. prevalent. What do these all have in common? All of them started inside our body. Okay. None of them are an infection. Mm -hmm. None of them came from outside. None of them are traumatic. All of them began within our body because something in our body is failing. And all of them have another thing in common. You're going to go to the doctor and the doctor is not going to tell you, take this, you'll be well in two weeks. All of them high blood pressure, heart disease, strokes, diabetes. The doctor is going to tell you, take this, come back in a month, and come back in a month, and come back in a month, and that comeback is for the rest of your life. All of them have one thing in common. They're incurable. Unless you really take things and matters into your own hands. You have to do something. You have to start changing your life <coughs> to... If you're not going to solve them completely, at least you're going to be able to control them in a much better way with a minimum of medication. Medication has a lot of side effects. Okay? Medication really has a lot of arthritis, pain problems. Those can be solved if you really engage yourself in lifestyle changes. Mm -hmm. I was looking, for example, recently in England, that uh, 20 years ago, the number of prescriptions for uh, oxycodone, which is a painkiller, uh, were 600. In 2010, were 600,000 prescriptions. Okay, morphine was like 800. Now, uh, 800,000 back uh, in, in, in 10 years ago. And right now, there are 2.8 million prescriptions. Why? Because every time people have pain, they go to the doctor and they're given painkillers. They never go to the core of the problem. And the core of the problem that has to do with diabetes, with heart disease, with strokes, with everything, is we are living with a body with inflammation. Mm -hmm. Inflammatory processes are at the bottom line of all of these diseases. And they begin with diet, they begin with lifestyle, they with begin with a lot of coffee that we take, we don't have enough bed rest, we don't give our bodies any chance to, to recover. We just push it to the, to the limit and, uh, and we're paying the price. Mm -hmm. And unless something genetic happens that will make us adapt to those changes, that's not going to happen to you or me, it might happen to your grandchildren. because. Uh, genetic adjustment takes generations. Okay. Bacteria mm -hmm. can become uh, non-sensitive to antibiotic because they can develop 100 generations in 24 hours, but we mm -hmm. don't. So it probably takes 100 years before we can see some of those genetic changes that will let us handle the type of lifestyle that we have today. I'm sure that from the time you were 10 years old to today, you have seen a lot of changes in, in your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's not anymore as, as it used to be. You see? And, and you're not talking ages. You're talking, and if you talk to your grandmother, you're going to be surprised on what was her lifestyle to, mm -hmm. in comparison to today's. So that, those are the diseases that we see because they all have the same bottom line, inflammation, they all uh, share problems with, with nutrition. They all have problems with uh, 
metabolic problems uh, like uh, weight gain, high blood pressure, uh, damage to the to the arteries, and uh, that brings strokes and heart disease. So one thing follows the other. Mm -hmm. High blood pressure. They're very much interconnected.